here at you and I know I haven't made a video in a couple months I was busy but now I'm back and I've gotten several requests on making a walk around about my Jeep so let's get to it now I attempted to put my own stripes because I thought it'd be cool and you guys can see her actually worked around it I really like the zombie thingy and just wanted to keep it down here we got the Ford Scarred front skid plate. You got the Aspen Creek Off-Road shackle mounts before they closed in October of 2013. Isolators on that, blue day stars. Here in the fogs, I am currently using the rigid uh, floods with amber covers on them. We're real nice. Headlights are stock for now. Got my grill, it needs to be redipped. Same with the Jeep emblem, I did that. See, we can move around here. That was a snow accident. <laughs> Got that dent out of nowhere. This are the hood light mounts from Aspen Creek Off Road. These are PIA wipers, work real great. These are my first set of wipers and have not changed in three years. Um, let's see what we got here. We got the Omen Emu heavy duty suspension lift kit. Also with the JBA upper control arms, I believe first or second gen. Um, got those from Robert. And then, let's see, I got uh, Goodyear Dirt Tracks with black silk satin black powder coated wheel spacers. And I believe I got the R1 Concept brake pads and rotors right here. Right there. Let's see what else we got. I like Apocalypto Zombie stuff, so I got that. Got the WeatherTech wind deflectors. I tinted the front. The front two windows are, I believe, eight. And the five back windows right here are only illegal. Too dark. Uh, they are three percent tint. See, I got I plasti dip this on. The, no, it's good on the plastic dip. Actually, it's coming out. Though I need to redo it. Right there. Let's see on the back. We got the spider track. Not spider track. What is it? We got the Spider Ran tail lights, smoked out LED tail lights, and then let's see this tail light right here. I bought from Tail Light Solutions, and um, it's dark. Step pad, I not plastic dip, but put bumper trim on it. You can do that. Um, shackle right here. So boiler exhaust right here. Five seven full exhaust. Mm -hmm. um, I just got my differential fluids done, so here's my pinch fold mod job. It's not rubbing, but I could use another hammer to beat that even more. Be clear. You also check underneath a little bit. Um, doing a rubberized coat underneath to keep that black clean look. It's working great. It's a boiler exhaust right there. <laughs> yeah, I need some. I need some lower skid plates. I need to transfer skid plate, gas tank skid plate. Rock sliders is what I'm. Waiting to get. You see here, my seat's all ripped. Right. Let's see, I got a Canon intake as well. I 
I really want to upgrade to the um, AFE enclosed intake down in the future. Until then, it works pretty good, you know. That's everything on the outside. Now let's go check on the inside. Let's see. I just got these weather tech mats put on a great deal on Craigslist. Got the front rows, middle row, and the cargo in the back. Sorry, it's a little dirty. <laughs> Yeah, in the back I got two 12-inch Polk Audios with, I believe it's a, I got it from Best Buy, the wiring kit and everything. Um, I got a JBL amp. Before I take it back, this is missing, I'm plastic dipping it right now. Um, plastic dip these. Here you go, it's broken. Here. Replace my lift struts a couple months um, before this one this winter and it doesn't hit my head. Let's start it up for you guys. Exhaust, the tune that I'm running with it on the Super Chips is an 87 octane tune. So, you know what it sounds like. Rare for you guys. guys this is my 2005 Duke Grand Cherokee 5.7 with mods. <laughs> <laughs> 